Oh hey, it's you. If you've forgotten who I am, I'm your friendly neighborhood-ish and I haven't made a video in quite some time. It's not that I don't want to film videos anymore, it's just that I've had a lot of bucket list check marks to check off and uh, in the last couple of months, I have. So that's what this video is about today. It's a compilation of a few of the recent trips I've gone on, including some on this vessel here. More on that in a second. The first vid takes us to my beloved Giants. If you've been a follower of this channel for a long time, you'll notice that I've probably worn some kind of Giants gear in almost every video. And yeah, I hate to say it, but our SoCal rivals, the LA Dodgers won with a huge asterisk next to their name. So where does that take us? It takes us to McCovey Cove, one of my favorite places that I used to paddle out to when I was growing up. And I got to do something really cool, something that I've never been able to say I've done before. And what is it? Let's check it out. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Lifelong Giants fan, Giants Park, first time on a kayak. Here we go. It was really cool to paddle out with all the regulars. I mean, it was like a Tuesday, I think, at like one in the afternoon, and there were so many people just hanging out, drinking, and just chilling. And it turns out, because there's nobody in the stands during bagging practice, the staff pick up the balls, put them in their basket, and throw them out to people in the cove. So thanks to my buddy Adam for being in the right spot at the right time, shagging in a couple, and tossing one my way. So yeah, you know, I can say that I've caught a ball in McCovey Cove, and if it comes with an asterisk, so be it. Still got one. Which takes uh, us to uh, vid number two. It was the first official solo outing on this vessel here, the Ishfish. I don't know what to call this boat yet. The balloon boat, the balut boat, whatever you guys want to call it, let me know in the description. But I finally got the opportunity to take it out solo. All the conditions were lining up for a beautiful day on the water. All signs pointed to catching something pretty decent. That's exactly what happened. Check it out. What is up guys, in today's video, I'm on my maiden solo journey on the Zodiac out here at uh, Pillar Point. And uh, we've just come to the conclusion of the salmon season and uh, I thought that it'd be, it's really a beautiful day out here. Uh, there's like zero wind, um, the tide change isn't too crazy. Great opportunity to try the Zodiac out um, because, because I got a trailer finally for it. And uh, with that trailer, I can launch a little faster. I can launch more weight and more weight means more crab pots. More crab pots means more crab for me. And uh, we'll put it all together. Let's go fishing. This is why you don't let balloons go. This balloon was floating in the ocean and I uh, thought it was a jelly, but it was a mylar balloon or a clear mylar-like balloon and uh, obviously not going to degrade out here anytime soon. So took it out of the water. Hey, maybe that'll be uh, some fishing karma for me and I'll catch one. We'll see. Oh my God, a fish maybe. Eee. Nice china. 
All right, something. I'll let you go. Hey, Kurt, you still out here? Yeah, I'm here. Any marks for salmon? Nope. <laughs> Finally, bait. Just, just not a fish that I get along with very well. So there it is. The craziest, slimiest fish in the water. Going into the water for hopefully a big link cod. <sighs> you piece of crap. Get off my boat and go catch me a real fish. And that's when the most crucial part of a YouTube video failed, the audio drop. It was right when I hooked up on a really nice ling on a live smelt. I always poop on smelt and uh, you know what? They might have changed my opinion that day. Super stoked to get into the boat. Um, you know, beautiful colors. And one of the really cool things is that he coughed up an almost live octopus. You know what, that thing was alive. When I pulled it out of uh, the net, it was still inking me and I could feel its tentacles kind of slowly moving. So that thing must have been eaten, you know, maybe less than an hour prior to me catching the link. So, you know, with uh, a huge smell in its uh, mouth and a huge octopus in its gullet, I mean, you know, definitely proof that, you know, these lings aren't too uh, picky. So, you know, super stoked to get both on board. And uh, I don't really need to keep another ling. It was more of a, can I catch a fish on my first solo trip out on the Zodiac? And I did. And so fortunately, you know, I had a lot of cool friends out on the water. I ran over to Kurt and hooked him up with the uh, practically live octopus. And I ran the ling over to Ron, uh, who was out with his daughter that day. And while they came up empty, I was happy to send him home with the fresh ling. So catching that ling on this Zodiac is bucket list check mark number two of this vid. Where does number three come in? Well, you know, a big reason why I accepted the Zodiac is because I knew that this would allow me to get my kids on the water. And that's exactly what happened. I took my son out for the first time fishing the Pacific and it was with daddy uh, on our own family vessel out in the water and you know what it was a ton of fun i really didn't have any focus on actually filming a video because if you're a dad and you're making youtube videos you really don't have the mental bandwidth to keep your son and keep your kids safe while concentrating on you know capturing the story for later and uh you know really i just recorded it for uh, our own kind of family memories super happy to get my son on the boat out in the ocean you know with fish on the line couldn't ask for more that was a huge check mark in my book So where does this leave us for the next series of check marks? Well, I told you that I accepted the Zodiac because I wanted one to get my kid out on the water for the first time. Boom, mark that off. And number two, a big reason why I committed to this boat and started making the investments in a trailer, a motor, all the stuff that I didn't really need, um, but I ultimately decided to get is because of this season, Dungeons Crab season, for those of you not local to the Bay Area, man, crab season is where it's at and lucky me i'm in a you know perfect area uh to catch them and if you're you know a regular on this channel you see me catch them all kinds of ways um but this 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 setup right here 15 horsepower two stroke you know almost 11 foot zodiac um, i can do 20 miles an hour cover a lot more ground now with a six gallon gas tank buried in there and uh with four traps and uh you know rods fish finder unit everything i need to make a great day on the water as uh, as great as possible something about having a motorized vessel you know not only allows me i think to put myself on uh, more crabs than ever easier than ever more efficiently than ever it allows me to do it with friends and fam and uh you know what that's what fishing's all about you know when i started this channel originally it was all about can i catch it then it became how much can i catch and now it's all about you know the experience who am i going to catch with and so you know my son is at that age where it's time to take him out he's getting excited to go out with me have i left the hobie game of course not catching stuff from kayaks is completely different from catching on a vessel if anything it's a little more 
earned and so it's that much more rewarding but uh, you know what I have a new toy to play with so play with it I will if you guys are interested in any more crabbing detail I have another video specifically on snaring and a couple other ones where I show you how to catch crabs from the shore jetty and beyond so thanks again for watching thanks for hanging out I'm really looking forward to all the seasons and the miles that I'll be able to put on this thing take care and I'll see you the next one maybe I'll see you on the water this season don't forget your license and your crab gauge and your bucket and the little thing that goes on your finger so much stuff i'll see you guys next time